Hey, I'm on Beverly Boulevard in Los Angeles where I'm on Hydrogen Refueling Station Explosion Watch 2019. We're at uh, Genesee and Beverly Boulevard where they have a hydrogen refueling station. You can see it in the back there. And I just spoke to this Mirai owner uh, who didn't know about either of the explosions, the uh, refueling truck explosion in Santa Clara here in California and the hydrogen refueling station explosion in Norway. Uh, both of these which just happened in the past week. This guy didn't know about either of them and he was wondering why so many of the hydrogen refueling stations are closed down uh, in Los Angeles and I explained it to him. He didn't want to be on camera and of course I wasn't going to force him to do so. Chemical plant explosion in California leaves hydrogen car drivers without fuel. The Santa Clara chemical plant explosion was on June 1st and it happened during a refueling of a, a truck at the air products plant. Here's actually a, a report from uh, local ABC 7 News. Facility. This facility is known for producing hydrogen. Many neighbors we spoke to said they felt the explosion and then the flames followed. Flames bursting out of this chemical facility shook buildings and residents at least five miles away from it. You first you heard the boom and then um, and then you felt like a wave of pressure of of uh, like um, a force just hitting you like all around you just like moving you for like you know slanting your back several blocks from the plant evan rosales could see the flames from his business he described them as 50 feet high his first thought was to save his workers this explosion actually resulted in air products taking all of their hydrogen delivery trucks off the road uh, until they can do a thorough examination and make sure that the uh, safety standards are as high as possible. The hydrogen supplier tells me because of this explosion, they've decided to pull all of their supply vehicles off the roads to make certain that they are safe. And that means those drivers that are showing up here are seeing messages like this one, dispenser unavailable. Then on June 10th, there was an explosion at a hydrogen refueling station in Oslo, Norway. Uh, this actually resulted in injuries. Uh, people in another car, actually a gasoline car nearby, the shock wave made their airbags go off, resulting in both people being injured. This refueling station fire in Norway resulted in both Toyota and Hyundai announcing that they are suspending sales of their hydrogen vehicles, at least temporarily. Here's another one. A hydrogen fueling station fire in Norway has left fuel cell cars nowhere to charge. I checked the California Fuel Cell Partnership website, which lists all the hydrogen refueling stations in the area. Uh, and apparently several of the Los Angeles locations have shut down their refueling stations in order that this limited hydrogen supply be shipped to San Francisco, where I assume it's in more demand. I assume this is because there are more of these vehicle owners in San Francisco than there are in Los Angeles. Look at this one here, quote, removed to support shipping product into Northern California. So obviously my concern is that all hydrogen systems are going to get a bad name from this. And I really want to differentiate here. There is a very safe and effective way to produce hydrogen on demand from water safely versus big oils answer to hydrogen, which is to uh, produce and deliver hydrogen gas via delivery trucks hold them in tanks at the gas stations, etc., etc. This appears to be the very dangerous way to do it. It'll be interesting to see what happens in the next couple of weeks here. Obviously, this could be the end of the hydrogen fuel cell vehicle.